Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines And this thing Hello everybody, it's Hannah Opaltree and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all of the support I got on my first video on YouTube. It truly means the world to me and I can't wait to make more videos in the future. Harley and I have a combined test horse show tomorrow at Jorvik Stables, so I thought I would bring you all along for the ride. I've got quite a few things to prepare and set up in the trailer tonight, so let's get going before the sun sets. The first thing I have to do to prepare is clean my boots. I usually do it in my small kitchen since I'd rather keep it in a cleaner place rather than the barn where dust can easily get on them. I'm gonna let them sit and dry since I don't want the black polish to get everywhere. So in the meantime, I'm going to head out to the barn and start putting my tack and such in the trailer just so that I don't have to do that in the morning because it takes a lot of time. And all I'll have to do is put Harley in the trailer. So let's head out to the barn. The things I'm taking with me are my saddle pad, my jumping saddle, my dressage saddle, my bridle, a girth, and on the opposite side of my trailer, I'm also taking my boots for Harley, my show jumping jacket, my helmet bag, and a bucket for Harley's water. I'll be putting my grooming kit and my boots in tomorrow morning after grooming Harley just because I need them for the morning, and also I'll have to throw in some treats just in case he's good. <laughs> Alrighty, one of the working students actually already fed Harley, so we're all set with him for the night. I just did a small refill on his water, and now I'm going to head home and get some sleep before tomorrow. So I will see you guys at the horse show. Good horse show morning, everyone. I just got to the barn, so I'm about to feed Harley, groom, and plat his mane before he gets into the trailer. I put my boots in the trailer. Now all that's left is Harley's grooming kit. So I'm going to go and feed Harley now. Luckily, Harley is very good with loading onto trailers, which I can't say the same for some horses at the barn. But I'm very lucky because Harley loads like a champ. <laughs> Alrighty, Harley is all loaded and we're going to head to the showgrounds at Jorvik Stables. We like to immediately unload the horses and bring them to the temporary stalls. This isn't an overnight event, but we like keeping the horses in the stalls so that they're not stuck in the trailer. Usually you have to pay for stalls, so we just stick to the trailer, but Jorvik Stables is actually giving free stabling this show, so we didn't have to. Alrighty everybody, so the first class we have is dressage, so I'm going to start tacking up Harley for that. We ride at one o'clock, so we've got a bit of time, but I like to be early so we have time to relax and have a really good warm up and thorough warm up. It's always better to be early than running behind. <laughs>
I think it went well. Harley was extremely giving this time, but we did have a few mess ups. I'm still proud of him regardless because he was so much better than the last time we did dressage. Yeah, that was, that was a mess, but um, yeah. <laughs> We have plenty of time before my jumping class, so I'm going to wipe off Harley's sweat with a rag and let him graze outside, just so that he dries off a bit and is ready for when I tack him up for show jumping. It's still too chilly out to bathe him, so that's why I'm just letting him air dry. While Harley's grazing, I'm actually going to take time to look at the jumping course for my next class. It doesn't look too difficult, so I'm a little excited to jump. And obviously Harley absolutely loves jumping, so it's always an exciting time riding him. <laughs> I'm going to quickly drop Harley back at his stall and head out to get a snack before our jumping round. I get really nervous before I go into the arena, so I make sure that my stomach isn't empty, cause that just makes me feel nauseous. But as soon as I got back, it's about time to get ready for our jumping round. So let's get tacking up. We actually went with a different color for our jumping round, just to spice things up a little bit. For our warm up, we popped over a few jumps and Harley felt pretty good. A little speedy, but that's natural for him just because he gets way too excited while jumping. Rider 54, Hannah Ogletree, writing Oh Happy Days. As usual, Harley was great for our jumping round. We didn't knock a single rail and he was flying through. I doubt that we placed too well just because of our mess ups and dressage, but at least we can kind of make up for it with our jumping round. In sixth place, Chloe Thompson riding Misfit Madness. In fifth place, Paisley Gordon riding Sapphire Skies. In fourth place, Jacob Rayner riding Over the Moon. In third place, Hannah Ogletree riding Oh Happy Days. In second place, Lauren Hathaway riding Give Me Some Lovin'. And finally, in first place, Tegan Hatter riding Davy Jones. I am so, so proud of Harley and our progress since the last show we showed in. He was so much better for our dressage test today. Despite the hiccups, he did so well and I couldn't be more proud of him. We placed third, which was something I was not expecting. So I'm really, really grateful and can't wait to progress even further from this point on. Harley is the best horse on the planet and I can't wait for us to learn and grow together. I just feel so